Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to Voidbound, our western themed Yeehaw Season 2. And looks like I wasn't the only one in the Christmas spirit. Look at this. To Mitch, Merry Xmas from the Great Fish. Somebody else got me a Christmas present. That's awesome. Unfortunately, nobody else cared to. No, of course they cared to. I'm sure they'll enjoy their presents as soon as they find them. But we got things to do, and I would pick that up right now, but I do not have the inventory space. So let's go ahead. Oh, I left the door open. Now let's open it. There we go. I've been doing some decorating. We added a big old map onto the wall here. Kind of, we'll cover up the, the fenciness of it, kind of. That, I really like maps. As long as you don't make them too big, they can be really handy. See, here's our little road all the way back into spawn. In our western spawn and that almost makes me want to like branch it off that way maybe i don't know or maybe off this way you know i do love me some roads and then this whole area back here is where we can put our ranch related things yeah and that one brown dot hmm i don't know what that is so anyway check this out we got this all filled out we got carpet down here. We got chairs just in case we ever get some visitors. We can sit down here and talk about Old West things. And then over here we got a closet. Look, it's awesome. I might like make this into like a secret mine entrance or something. It just looked like a nice little cubby hole for a door, really. That's what I was thinking at least. If you go upstairs here, kind of detailed up the staircase. Added some books on that side. And then, oh, gotta shut the bedroom door. We got a hallway here. We have a, look how clear this glass is. It's almost like I could jump, ah! I can jump through it. We need to work on that. We got things to work on. Things to work on. We have thing to work on. We have grammar to learn. Shut your door. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick nap here. Once I show you the bedroom. Check this out. I also got some work done here. I don't have a record yet. We gotta work on that. We got a little bit of extra storage set up here. We got our fancy bed, which I kind of got the idea from Griffin by putting these here on the end. Didn't know you could do that, but it does look cool. It looks like a cool foot of the bed. And then we've got our little um, uh, nightstand right there, headboard. And then we can just lay down here and go to sleep. And across the room there, we've got a closet. Which I think is going to be a closet. Not totally sure. Could just be tiny room for the sake of having a tiny room. But since it's a room inside of a room, I think it would be best to be a closet. I'm also thinking about lowering the ceiling in here. I kind of like the tall ceiling, but it, I don't know. Seems like it takes away from the detail of the room. We can kind of like light that up up there. We might try that out and see. Not totally in love with the idea, but here I figured we needed a window right on this wall. And this is going to be the back part of this section of the house, so I think it's still okay. I'm not going to jump back down there. But like right here, we could do a little bit of a back porch area. And then that side of the house makes me sad, because I can't really figure out anything to do with it. I guess we could put a few more bedrooms up here, maybe, for guests. Or we might try to make them more functional and put, like, Minecraft devices or something in here. Not entirely sure. But I am happy with the progress I've gotten done thus far. Walk we'll into here. We got our storage area. Some more extra storage chests. Lots of items. Some more workbenches, because you can never have enough workbenches. Really. I just kind of decorated that up. As I mentioned, if you watched my Mitch Plays Minecraft video, I've been watching a lot of interior design videos. Well, Minecraft related at least. I don't know, just saying that off the cuff just doesn't sound quite right. I've spent all my time watching interior design. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. That sounds horrible actually. The next thing I wanted to do here is I wanted to kind of put like a bust no, not that kind of bust. Don't be perverts. I like a... Not a statue. Well, I guess kind of like a statue. This is something I've seen... Um, 
Pixel Rifts do, which anybody who remembers Pixel Rift, Pixel Rift, Pixel Rifts, I can't remember if he has an S in his name or not. He was in our UHC, and he does all kinds of cool things with these, uh, the armor stands. So I wanted to try this out and see. Like, I need, let's just go like this. Like that. Give me that block back. I don't think I can bump those out of place, but I'm not totally sure. Do I have a sticky? Well, no, I don't need a sticky piston. Regular piston will do. I'll add that there. That should push that down into it. As long as I power it. And there we go. Redstone block. That pushes that down into it. Now we'll take it away. Now, this is not what we're going for. We need to add another one. Let's go like that. And then we need redstone again. My inventory started out crappy in this episode. There's no telling what will happen to it later on. Power it again. Take that away. Now you might say, Mitch, it's all covered up. Well, if we go like that, ta-da! Ha-ha! Minecraft magic. Now we can clean this up. Give me that back. And then if you go like this, and like this, that on there, and that on there, it kind of looks like a, a bust. Kind of like a more Greek type thing. But hey, this is a fancy house. We need fancy things. And I'm really in love with that. I think that looks awesome. Let's replace our ceiling up here. Go doop. No. Uh -oh. Doop. Let's go up there and fix that real quick. Or else I'm going to wonder why it's like that. Give me this back. There. We got to figure out something to do with that little corner there, too. We'll do some paintings and stuff up there, I guess. Oh, get around the corner. There we go. I really like that. I think that looks cool. Actually, let's go F1. Let's get a little closer. Get a little closer. And F2. There's your screenshot. Look at that. It's awesome. All right. So now that we got that done, let's see. What else do we need to get done around here? You might wonder, why did I just put a jack-o'-lantern here? And you might say, Mitch, you're being lazy with lighting. That's just a lighting trick. Why did you bother with that? Well, let me tell you something. If you had a jack-o'-lantern and it was lit up for Halloween, maybe, and you really loved it, you thought, that's the best jack-o'-lantern in the world. I don't want to throw it away. You'd move it inside your house. My house is filled with all kinds of crap stuck in the corners and things. I've still got the box for the Christmas tree in the corner in my office. Because my office has become like the default. Hey, we don't have anywhere else to stick it. Let's put it in Mitch's office. <laughs> it's okay, though, because I do it, too. I like this little table here. Like, see, I'm imagining, like, you walk in the door. This is where you put, like, your mail and things. If they had mail in Western times. This nice little lounge area. I was thinking maybe, like, right here we could do some sort of fireplace, maybe. Either that or like maybe maybe do a kitchen right here. Maybe do a fireplace off the side here, maybe. That might be a better place for it. Hmm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I don't know if I have enough green clay to kind of start this off. Like, if we go like this. Let's just figure out this from this direction. We could do like a doorway here. Actually, we can make go ahead and make it three wide. Because all the doors on this, yeah, all the passageways here are all three wide. Hmm. That could be pretty cool. Let's just add some more up here. I'm not going to have enough to kind of finish this wall out. But we can at least kind of get an idea started here. 
I'll never be able to jump up that high. Something like that. Okay. End of today's episode. Hope you enjoy. No. No, not yet. I'll do that. Give me some of this. I can't believe I'm going to have to go do more clay hunting. Because that was all of my green clay. That was all of it. Darn it. Oops. Wrong place. Give me those back. I like that. Hmm. I kind of made these, what, three tall? So that would at least be up to there. Yeah, we might have to go hunt for some more clay. Which sucks. But we can kind of get the basics going on here. Like even... Hmm. Darn it, I really want some more clay to fill this out. I guess I could go ahead and start in with spruce wood. I'd fill in some of the blanks. Let's just kind of do this and see how this feels. Ah, I need some. That's not even that much that I need. Let's. Go like that. And then like this. Do I have any ender pearls on me? I do not. I think I've got yeah, I've got two chests over here of them. Let's get back over here. Can I ender pearl up here? Haha. -ha. There we go. Okay. So actually I'm gonna need some slabs too. Right? Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna make this whole top part here wooden. Unless, up there, yeah, we're not really doing anything up here yet. So we could knock some of that out. something like this and then maybe bring it back around like this way let's jump down and see what that looks like yeah that's not bad I don't mind that now here we got to keep the ceilings taller because we've got a lot of headroom to work with here sorry you you that your usual bathroom or not bathroom what your usual kitchen cabinets aren't really going to work here. But we can kind of put a place for a back door, maybe. Like right here. And have that go out to like a back porch. That could be cool. Now let's think about this. Do we want... We could maybe work in another window, and that would give me enough green clay to finish this out. Ooh, but this window is going to be taller if we do another window right here. Now, I don't know if I like that. This is going to give us green spots in the floor. Uh, oh, This could all be solved if I went and got clay. Let's, oh, I've already gotten lost. All right, let's get back down here. Do we not have any kind of... Oh, we do have green clay. Look at that. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, boy. Now we can get this up here. Actually, it might be easier if we just fell in from upstairs. I feel like I'm going up and down stairs a lot today. I promise you that today's episode was not originally intended to be as disorganized. I'm going to have to jump down there. That'll work for now. Do like this, and then boop, boop, boop. And we'll figure out something there. If we don't have a wall there, we can cover it up with carpet or something. That's not a big deal. 
But we do have spacing ready here now for another wall. Now you might say, Mitch, this bugs me. You know why this bugs me? There's two blocks here, one block on that side. What gives? I'll tell you what gives. You need to do things differently sometimes. Think outside the box. Like you might say, that's a lot of spruce wood for that wall. And I might be inclined to agree with you. But you know what? I'm going to fix it right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's get rid of a little bit of that. Now that we found more green clay. Okay, I feel better about that now. Now if we do a back door here. Hmm. How did we do that door? That door is like this. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go like that. Then we can kind of put it right there. That'll be out to a back porch type area. Which tells me we need to do like kitchen cabinets around here. Which kind of bugs me because our dang ceiling is so tall. So I'm not really going to be able to mix cabinets. Like say this was cabinet level. That's still going to feel weird. I might have to go look up pictures of like tall kitchens or something. <laughs> and it still feels like I'm not going to have a good design flow there. Unless we make them like super big, but that's still going to feel kind of awkward. Yeah, I really don't like that. Let's get rid of these. Alright. Well, at least we got this room sectioned off here. Figure out something fancy to do with the ceiling, maybe. I mean, I guess we could lower the ceiling. We talked about that earlier. If we brought the seat, well, no, because we can only bring it down to like maybe here. No, not there. Well, maybe there. How much space is that going to give me up there? That's not much space. Let's go like right there. Then go like this. Then go like that. Can I jump up there now? Or is my head going to get stuck? Haha, I can get up here. Whoa. What did I... Hello? Oh, my head was in a block. Well. Dang it. Hmm. So I could do a ceiling at that level, but that's still not going to be low enough, I don't think. We're still going to have a weird thing going on with kitchen cabinets. I don't know, that may just have to be one of those things I play with off camera and see if I like or not. But I just wanted to kind of show off some of the interior design and we've gotten done in here. This could be like a dining room slash uh, living room type thing going on. And then that's kind of like your entrance way, living room. I've got a little desk over here in the corner with my pet rock. Oh, you're such a good rock. Yes, you are. Yes, you are a good rock. And yeah, we still got tons of things to do. We also can go back to town and we can work on the ranch out here. I'm so happy with this whole series. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to do. And once again, thank you to the great fish. Go tell him thank you from me. And I think that's probably going to be all the time we've got for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time.